Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and jump straight into the reading. Today we're going to be looking at what you're currently not aware of in regards to your situation. So let's jump into it. I'm not going to make a long drawn out intro. Any information you need will be listed in the description. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera so you guys can see what we're working with energy wise with the cards and enjoy. Pisces, let's go ahead and jump into your reading and see what's going on. So when it comes to my Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements, what are they currently not aware of in regards to situation? What are the messages coming to you? Let's see. All right. So first card we have is the Five of Wands in reverse, which I like to see. So when it comes to conflict, things that you're debating, things that you're conflicted about, what you're currently not aware of, yes, it may be stressing you out. Certain things involving other people, a particular situation that you're in may be stressing you out. But I don't think that these are going to be problems that persist for long. And what may happen is over the next week or so, there may be some sort of resolve that takes place. Um, whether that you work those issues out with that said person or within that said situation. Or altogether, you come to some sort of final conclusion that gets you out of the space of feeling conflicted or just all over the place or flustered in terms of what to do. Um, also, what you may not be aware of, somebody who you could be at odds with, they really don't want to be at odds with you anymore. Even though they may not verbally say it, their pride could be a big issue um, that's keeping them from actually speaking their mind and, and letting it be known that they want to move beyond the, the issues you guys may have. But someone really doesn't want problems anymore with you. They really don't want to be at odds, whether that's to rekindle the relationship and move on from whatever this issue is, or like just completely let the situation go and, and, and be for what it is. But that's what I'm seeing with that. We also have the Sun card in reverse. So... The person you may have children with, they could be unhappy with the fact that you guys are just not able to co-parent or be on the same page in terms of what to do with the relationship. Okay. It also seems like another thing that you may not be aware of, if you do have like an absent um, parent, I don't think that this person necessarily doesn't want to be around their child, but... They may hate all the extraness that may go into um, like co-parenting, whether that you guys argue a lot or it's just unnecessary drama. Hmm. Let's keep going. Pisces. Something with the Leo too. Um, you guys may have a Leo around you who's really prideful. You may even have somebody around you who's like low-key not happy with you but they're not saying anything. So if you notice any type of passive aggressiveness from like a family member, a lover, there could be some things that your person or this individual that's pissed at you just may not be saying is the problem. Okay, we have the will of fortune. So divine timings at play with your situation, what you may not be aware of is yeah, things right now may be out of your control. There may be a lot of things that are happening around you that you're kind of panicking about. But understand that panic worry isn't going to speed up the process in terms of this uh, work that's being done behind the scenes for you guys. And I think that what's important is you guys are in the flow of the now and making your situation work for you the best way you can. Okay. In divine timing, there may be also something really drastic that happens. Let's see what that is. This could be another business opportunity, financial opportunity. Some of you guys may even have a chance to move forward with some sort of marriage, I'm hearing as well, or some sort of engagement. All right, Pisces. What else is coming through? What are they currently not aware of? Pisces. So we have the Six of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So if you've been in debate on whether or not moving to a different state, 
country, city, whether or not that will benefit you in terms of opportunities, whether that will open other doors for you to meet new people and whatnot, whatever your reasoning is. Uh, what you may not be aware of is, yes, those opportunities that you're actually looking for, the position that you want to be positioned into may be on the other side of that move. It's just the need for you guys to not have this fear of things being worse after doing this. Um, because with the Six of Swords right next to the Ten of Cups, this could be actually the level of completion that you need by being in new energy, by being in, in new spaces. Okay. Yeah, I have the Judgment card and also the Two of Cups. Um... Okay, so if you're dating somebody who's long distance, this is kind of random, and you're wanting this person to move in with you, or you're debating on whether or not moving in with each other may be the best idea, um, Spirit is definitely saying that there may be a reason for why this person hasn't moved in yet, whether that's them keeping some sort of secret that they need to make apparent to you, or this may be a blessing by them not moving in because there could be a lot of things you don't know about this person or don't realize about this person that only moving in with them may make you privy to and it may be too late at that point so while you're wondering like hmm why hasn't you know why haven't we moved in together why haven't we taken things further i think that spirit may be protecting you in some way especially if you've noticed some extreme red flags uh prior to even getting to that point but let's pull some more cards all right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What are they not aware of? All right, we have Sagittarius energy. So something with the Sag may come up. And we also have the South Node. Interesting. So like I said, Sagittarius may come up in some way. Um, other than that, you guys may, in the near future, find yourself really driven um, while you've been feeling very, like, exhausted, drawn out, um, needing a break. You may need to take that break so that you guys can come back with vengeance because I do see that even though things may seem like it's really slow right now, there may be a change in that scenario in the near future as long as you guys pick your energy up. And what you're currently not aware of is that the universe is really feeding off of your energy. The second that you're ready to go when you got your, your A game on or you're in the right mindset to get going, then the projects, the things that you would like to see manifest in your life will start to manifest. But a lot of you have been just really exhausted in energy. I could, I could see it in the cards. Um, some of you guys may get accepted to go to this school or you guys may actually take initiative in the near future to go to school if that's been something that's been on your mind heavy what you're currently not aware of is that you guys may actually take initiative in the near future like for real for real hmm Some of you guys are also outgrowing certain things with this South Node energy. You're really outgrowing certain things, and, and it's time to realize that. If you've noticed that it's been getting harder and harder and harder to hold on to certain things, that's a sign that that's the thing that's about to be removed from your life completely because it's time to. Some of you guys have been kind of resting on certain people, situations. Um, now it's time to kind of evolve beyond that. But these are some of the things that I see. I do wish you the best of luck and any information you leave below and I will talk to you later.